Lord, everybody, welcome to On Point, the number one Saturday morning Christian-based calling talk show in America, live every Saturday morning from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on any smart device at David G. Evans, the number one, at David G. Evans 1. We're so glad you've taken the time to join us today as we have another stimulating conversation, uh, one that will make a difference in your life concerning faith, of course, because we're a kingdom-based uh, talk show. Uh, the Lord Jesus, of course, politics, sports, culture, uh, the Bible, anything locally, regionally, nationally, internationally that would impact our lives, that we need a biblical perspective. As we always say, we want to be similar to the sons of Issachar who understood the times, but we don't stop there because the Bible tells us exactly how to react, knew what to do. Uh, so we'd love for you to Give us a call today, toll-free, 866-743-8267, 866-743-8267. That's 866-74-EVANS, toll-free from anywhere in the world. Give us a call. We would love talking to you this morning here on On Point. My co-host, Reverend Nicholas A. Smith, is with us today. Hey, man. Good morning. How you doing? How you doing? Okay. <coughs> Great meeting last night. It was really good. Good, good turnout. The worship was wonderful. Yeah. Now today, we're really looking forward to um, our, our classes, our seminars. We're looking forward, we're looking forward to that. Okay. Um, uh, a lot of pastors, I um, understand the deacon's track this weekend is huge. Good, good. Yeah, 37 folk. Um, yeah. Good, nice. We've got deacons from all around the area coming for the instruction good. this morning. We've got a couple visiting pastors with us today. Yeah. Uh, so we're really uh, excited about that. And, uh, just gonna have a good time today with the pastors and the first ladies in my class. And mm -hmm. you've got who today? Uh, youth. Youth. Okay. I'm sure Pastor F Tyrus has the uh, CFAM group. Yeah, the music and, and Justice music, and then then uh, Rem Roy has the deacons. Yep. Um, he was he was, he was going like that. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was, he was, he's ready. <laughs> hey, he's, uh, they're getting kind of popular. They're gonna, they're gonna do something in Philly. Um, at Greater Exodus uh, okay. next month. Nice. Yeah. yeah. The deacons are? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, gonna, I mean, look. Going to do a training over there. That training process he got. Oh, it's wonderful. It's, uh, it's revolutionary. It is. You know, and um, it's uh, insight. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I like about it is that he's been he's been deacon for years, not mm -hmm. just in our church, but another yeah. church, a church where I met him, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, he has not stayed locked. Mm -hmm. into an era of yep. perspective on the job. Yep. Good. And uh, what he's done with ours and what I know he's going to do today yeah. with just a little bit of time, I think it's going to be uh, purpose is going to turn into progress. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, rather than just yeah, the traditional No, scenario. yeah, man. No, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, nah. a, it's, a, it's another job. Yeah. So, a lot going on this week. Mm -hmm. um, of course, last week, South Carolina, uh, wins the women's UConn wins the men uh -huh. um, how long do you think it'll be before let's start here I'm a little concerned that some of the present WNBA athletes uh -huh. have such venom uh -huh. for who I'm calling at this time it's just me uh -huh as it relates to a business model, as it relates to an impact, mm. as it relates to income, advertising, mm. all that attention that they've wanted for years. Mm. Caitlin Clark is the new Tiger Woods of women's basketball. Mm. All of them are gonna get paid more. Mm -hmm. All of them are gonna be seen more. Mm. It's gonna happen. Mm. Now, you gotta have enough sense to see, okay, what we couldn't do alone, mm. This young lady's gonna give us a chance to do. Why don't we just get with her then doing the Tarasi thing and, and a couple others where they just can't say nothing nice about the girl? Now, I, I, I didn't hear what I saw she, it, but I, I saw what some other people said. They were like, they were celebrating, the ones that I saw, mm -hmm. they were celebrating her mm -hmm. and were like, well, let's see if you can do it yeah, in that, the big time. Well, and I'm okay with that statement. I, that, I'm, I'm, I have no I'm problem cool with that. with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah. But you cannot deny the attention Oh, yeah. On women's basketball mm. 
is incredible. Yeah. And they've, they've signed on to the WNBA, mm-hmm. along with Angel Reese and a couple others. Yeah. That's going to raise the oh, profile. Yeah. It is. And the audience in college is going to follow them mm-hmm. to, the, to the WNBA game. Yeah. But mm-hmm. they're also going to look for the quality of the game mm-hmm. to change. I don't think pros ought to miss layups. Yeah. From, I mean, from what I understand, I haven't really watched it from people talk about it. The mm-hmm. games have gotten a little more better. The women are a little more athletic within the last couple of years. Okay. Last couple of years. But they're not like the girls are, the ladies are now. Yeah. The no. college ladies are bringing a well, whole other thing. That's the ones from last yeah, year are yeah. bringing a whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It almost feels like the vibe of when Dawn Staley, Lisa Leslie, mm-hmm, all of mm-hmm, them were mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. when it first started. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't know that uh, the Houston Comets is no longer around anymore. No. Here's here's my thing. This is this is this is my thing. Correct. I'm, this is, mm-hmm. we'll segue back to. And the NBA year. has to give them ten million dollars a year just yes. to keep them afloat. Yes. That, so okay. Here's here's my thing. Can't pay your own bills. Don't tell me you should be getting equal cool pay. But we yeah, won't talk I, about I, that. Let's I, keep I, going. I understand. That, right. that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm, okay. I'm asking, okay. That's what I'm actually, oh, actually oh, leading okay. to. Okay. 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 Is just being practical. If a, if women complain about equal pay, right. And you talk about how the WNBA women need to play more. Mm-hmm. Why, why aren't those stadiums full of women supporting those games to justify? Please, please say it. And I'm please. not saying because please, the majority of people that watch sports, the ladies not are sexist, not supporting is their own game, you, except in college. Yeah, go. You shall be. Y'all should be packing those games out. That's right. Nope, not. It hasn't been happening. To, but what's going to happen now? See, the reverse has yeah. happened now. It used to be you build a big stadium, mm. you build it, they'll come. Yeah. Now, and this is why this particular mm. era that Angel Reese and Caitlin yeah. Clark are ushering in right mm. now is different. They've got huge mm. viewerships, yep. huge mm. internet followings. Mm. That now sends people. Yes. So you used to, back in the day, you built a building, they will come. Mm-hmm. Now you build a following and they will come. Yep. Exactly. Okay. It, it, it's the same as um, you hear black people all say, I don't mm-hmm. want to see another slave movie. Why y'all keep making these slave movies? But when somebody comes out with a serious movie that has mm-hmm. nothing to do with slavery, don't y'all go. don't go. Don't go. Don't go. You're complaining about this, yeah. but yeah. don't support it at the same time. That's why these ridiculously stupid, idiotic reality programs. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, you're right. I don't like you know, it our, The viewership for, for ethnics yeah. is way up. Yep. But something that's going to help us, mm-hmm. never make it. Don't want to do it anymore. The more foolishness we show, mm-hmm. the better the ratings for our group. Yep. BET used to have uh, the news, the news shows, and all, but they cut them because people weren't watching. They weren't them. watching them. But then you complain about when it all turns ratchet. But you're watching the. But you're watching the ratchet. It's like you. Come on, man. It, it goes back to your own has to support your own if that's you right. really want this if thing. If you to, want it to work, to work. But Fox News has figured this thing out. Yeah, we'll put the black programs on. We'll get the money because mm-hmm. we we are the people going to watch them. We're going to support with our our texting and our mm-hmm. emailing and our you know video watching and all that. Mm-hmm. And we'll create things that blacks will heard to mm-hmm. make us rich again. And then we'll just drop all drop that them. and move to the next thing. Absolutely. And they've done it over and over again. All the time. All the time. So now Tubi is the, is the thing they're working on now. Yeah. Yeah. And. They're going to do the same thing. They're diving in. Yeah. Fox in the 90s, they had Martin. Yep. Uh, all those pop Single. Yep. All those, and those were good shows. They mm-hmm. weren't like ratchet shows. Mm-hmm. They were good comedy shows. Mm-hmm. They built them up, mm-hmm. the company, the organization mm-hmm. up. Then they wiped them out. That's and right. replaced them with. That's something else. Something else. But we have to be the ones to Unbelievable. support. And now, I'm not the biggest Roland Martin fan. Yeah. And I'm, I'm saying that because... And I'm, I'm tempering my remark okay. <laughs> because my exposure to Roland mm. was in a limited time space. Okay. Um, and what was exhibited to me in the limited time space mm. was not favorable. Okay. Okay. But I'm mature enough to know he could have been having a bad day. Yeah. It could have been the real him. Mm. It could have been a variety of things. Sure. Maybe he didn't feel like doing the event that he... Right. Agreed to do mm-hmm. whatever the case was. Right. So I'm, I'm mature enough to say, okay, my initial exposure to Roland mm-hmm. was not, mm-hmm. I think, positive. Okay. All right. Um, getting that out the way. Yeah. My initial exposure to Cosby, mm-hmm. totally different personality, mm-hmm. 
you know, I, we, of course, we didn't know anything about what was going on or what they say was going yeah. on. Yeah. Um, but my initial exposure to him um, in those short minutes mm. was a totally different thing. Mm. He, was, he was there. He was open. Uh, it was a totally different vibe. Yeah. Might be two different personalities. Yeah. You know, one might be a butthole and the other one's yeah. not. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Okay. So, but I'm mature enough to know mm. that that context should not shape my entire perception. Right. Absolutely. He, Roland complains a lot mm. about the lack of support mm. of things that are edifying or upbuilding mm. versus things that are, have no real cultural value other than its negative perpetuating stereotypes mm -hmm. and i you know he complains about that yeah and i think he's right he's absolutely right and because i think he brought it up and a couple other people brought it up how much advertising money is owed to these black channels these black, mm -hmm. black shows mm -hmm. that the companies organizations are giving out mm -hmm. because of you know they're a black show now yeah. i give it to him he, he started his own network yep He's got his own thing. Yeah, he's he's being about it, and I didn't know. I, again, I don't know TV, but mm -hmm. I heard Steve Harvey talk about it this week. That a black show and a white show can have the same amount of ratings. Mm -hmm. This, the white show will pay their actors more mm -hmm. because their advertising budgets more. Mm -hmm. I didn't know they had. A, well, you've noticed they had yeah. a cultural yeah. a budget for the cultural shows. Absolutely. That's what they call them. Absolutely, uh, i.e. the black shows. Of course, which are much smaller than absolutely. Even though. The black show could have more ratings which, than... Which is why the actors don't get paid as much. Yeah. Which is why you don't get the, um, the concentration of positive mm -hmm. advertisement. Mm -hmm. You know, which is why you only get... I'm, I'm, I could be totally off by this. I'm ready to be corrected by sure. anybody. Why do we dance even in a computer commercial? <laughs> Why, why, if we're talking about life insurance, are we jumping around the park? I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. I know, I know. To, to me, it's the unfair balance. I'm not going to say unfair. I'm going to take that back. It's the balance of, they won't show, they won't, they'll only do it this way. A McDonald's commercial, full of singing, full of dancing, but they won't give you the other side. There's no dancing commercial, one serious commercial. It's just only. And part of the problem is our problem now. You, yeah. you know, most, most times you see a real estate commercial, you know, black person buying a house, mm. you know, you got balloons popping, movies going, and you got a party in the backyard. Mm. Cause a lot of us do buy property sure. to have picnic. Sure. But, but. Nothing the, wrong with it, yeah. yeah but, but not all of it's us. It's not the only way. You yeah, they, you booty bumping out on the front porch because you got to, come on now. It's not the. <laughs> but cultural difference. Cultural difference, yeah. In the way advertising and also we respond yeah. to that mm -hmm. cultural uh, predisposition mm -hmm. stereotype. Yeah. We, we respond to that stuff. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, I, I don't either. It just, it, I mean. It, I don't like it. But they know us, uh -huh. yeah. Well, and that, they know what works because we have projected that that superficial nonsense yeah. is the way to get us to like it, mm -hmm. not necessarily buy it, mm -hmm. but the attention. Yeah. But I learned a long time ago those advertising budgets mm -hmm. are very, very different. Yes. Yep. Majority minority market. Mm -hmm. This is what we do over. They they got some movies don't get as much promo money because mm -hmm. they don't have this is the industry term mm -hmm. don't have enough milk in them yeah, yeah. milk is the code word mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah but well, that's why and that's why the overseas budget because mm -hmm. they know if you put a black face on the advertising for overseas it ain't selling they're, they're not gonna sell over there it ain't selling. It, not gonna happen mm -mm. and that's a cultural thing mm -hmm. anyway but I, I agree with you and yeah if you're gonna complain about it go support it I that's I fully understand, but but we see it can be done mm -hmm. because at the college level, yeah. I don't rec except when the NCA is moving teams around the country mm -hmm. during March Madness. When you generally watch a college game, football, mm -hmm. basketball, whatever venue it is, packed to the roof, yeah. mm -hmm. to the roof, mm -hmm. 
And college tickets, they say, are going for like. Oh, they're getting higher now. Dion's team is like five hundred bucks. Yeah, they. Him just going there, and they they're sold packed, out. sold out. Just, just him, he, the day he went there, no game. Can you? Five hundred dollars. In my generation, when we were in college, mm. would have caused us to have a sit-in. Right. right. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's what we did back in the day. Yeah. Go to the administration building, yeah. sit in the hallways, mm. you know, go and be heard. Yeah. You know, Gil Scott Heron, he, he'd be singing mm. something outside and, yeah. you know, just the whole thing, Brian yeah. playing and all that kind mm. of stuff. So, so these are guys we went to school yeah. with. So, and that's what we would do. Mm-hmm. 500 bucks yeah. for a, a ticket well, in college. The, well, the students' tickets are cheaper. What's, how much cheaper? I don't know how much cheaper, but they usually give them like a certain thing. It ain't ten dollars like we. No, 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 not ten dollars. Okay, no, okay. Heck no. Oh no, it ain't right. no ten dollars. Ten dollars. No, no, that, that ain't. No, no, no. Yeah. Fifteen bucks was no, high. No, that ain't happening. You know, Twenty dollars. Oh, you, no. you on the field? The base, the base is like a hundred <laughs> something. Working oh, your way up. That's high. Yeah. What college kid? Where do you come from that you got a hundred dollars mm. when you have to make decision between food and going to the game? Mm. What college kid? has that kind of money there's ways they work it out put it that way either through they get loan a higher loan and you take the, the money that you got from the loan yeah like it's like you know you, you or get the get the the um not lifestyle stuff you get the the daily need part of the budget yeah that part or your parents give it to you or you're so or you're using you're using food money for a ticket yeah or you're working okay. yeah you, you right. there, there are ways like you you only need like i worked my way through school yeah okay it, it's it's and then remember, this, this generation coming up has a little more access to things. Unbelievable. Compared to previous generations. Can you imagine when you were in school back in the day, like 30, 40 years ago, <laughs> when, you, when you were in college? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been about 20 years, yeah. Has it been 20? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 But anyway, can you imagine a $100 football team? Yeah, oh, that college? Oh, heck no, I wasn't. Yeah. No, was it a, if I had written my mother said I'm spending a hundred dollars this money to <laughs> go to football game, uh-huh. she probably would have emptied out my account. Right, right. <laughs> but like you, I did work too. So did I, I. I worked a couple, yeah. couple things. But so. I wasn't spending that kind of money. No, I wasn't spending the money. No, no. But I was making some money. No, it wasn't, it wasn't like I you was know. Rockefeller back. Yeah, then. I wasn't. No, 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 no. But for a college student, I was doing okay. Yeah, okay. I believe that. I was, I was doing okay. You know, you, you, you know. You, I started working here at yeah, a certain age. Yeah, yeah, you know. My other job, we was, yeah, like, you we was working OT like crazy. Yeah, you was doing. I was. Yeah, that wasn't normal. That's another thing I don't understand. What? You got jobs offered you overtime. And, and they you, won't work. And you complaining about money? Duh. Duh. They be like, you won't work this day? Yes. Duh. Yes. I can recall my mom having to bring me lunch and a change of clothes because mm. I didn't come out the building for okay. a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> it was either money right. or go hang out with the boys. Right. You know, I hang uh, out with y'all later. Right, right. <laughs> Get this you paper. <laughs> That's why I was the only one that had a car. Mm-hmm. You take my little girlfriend to McDonald's, mm-hmm. you know, that you know, that kind of thing, mm-hmm. you know. But the man, she had to come bring me clothes yeah. and food, man. Mm-hmm. You coming? No, my nigga gonna give me another shift. Yeah, yeah right. And I'm coming. <laughs> <Shove> right. <laughs> I'm coming. Man. I'm sorry, yo. We did it. All right, we <laughs> digress. <laughs> right. 866-743-8267. 866-743-8267. Give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. This is On Point, the number one Saturday morning Christian-based call and talk show in America. We're going to Scott from Vineland, New Jersey. Then we're going to Kevin from Cedarville. Good morning, Scott. Bishop Evans, Pastor Nick, how you guys doing today? All right, man. How you and Nala doing? Doing good, doing good. I'm working a little bit of overtime. I was telling Chris. There you go. Um, yes, next sir. week that, is her that's birthday. My, that's my guy. Yep. Get that yes, overtime. Sir. Right. Yes, sir. You know, Pop Shelton taught me well. It's Nala's <laughs> birthday next week, so okay. I gotta, I'm going to take her to the outlets and let her do a little shopping until she go, drops. Go ahead. Go ahead, baller. I hear you, baller. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Nick, what's going on, man? I'm good, man. How you feeling? Good. Um, a little Sixers talk. What do, you, what do you think the sky's the limit for the Sixers now? Because after that, that was a big win last night with a game with a game that. Orlando Magic team. What was it good? We were here last night. We were here for a while. Yeah, I was, um, we were working. It was um, it was it was good. The Magic um, Magic the, the Sixers went up with a little lead and Magic came back as we expected them to do. They got a bunch of young guys, but they're gritty and um, Sixers um held off. Everybody held their breath. Even everybody watching the TV and be kind of like. Came down, his foot kind of like twisted. I literally stopped breathing. I'm like, oh god! I literally was he all right? 
Yeah, she came up to the locker room like Willis Reed way back in the day. I'm showing my age when he did something to his leg, and Willis Reed came back out that tunnel, and B did that, and you thought Elvis was reincarnated. <laughs> but, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a heck of a game, fellas, and um, he just makes everybody better. We all, all three of us have talked about that. Uh, Buddy Hill, uh, Matt, even even old behind Cal Lowry, he makes him look good. And him and Max here are just one of the best uh, duo. I hear it's Maxie guys, some kind of ball player. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's yes, good. Yeah. yes. Uh, came yeah. from Kentucky. We all know Coach Coach Calipari. Well, you know, he molds with those guys. He's just a ball of energy. I like the respect. They interviewed him. They said, how do you feel about the Ivers statue? You said, I'm glad – Great player, great. He said he's pushed me from day one. Okay. And what what more can you be pushed by than AI? They compare those two because of their quickness. But um, okay. is he quick Maxie, like a, is he quick like him? Yeah. Yes, Maxie is uh, uh, that that first step passing Nick. You know about his first that first step. AI's, was yeah, AI's it, first step a, was. AI, uh, you mean he's kind of like AI? AI's first step was. Yeah, because he was blinding. It was. It was, it was <laughs> Yeah, most it was, most it was, of the time you you caught up with him on the second step. That's right, right. that's when my eyes would catch up with AI. <laughs> on the second yeah, step. Ma- Ma- Max is um just um he's just an incredible guy. He's only 22 and um okay. he's only going to get better. Yeah. Um, I heard so, of I saw something yesterday mm-hmm. that there's a very popular ball player who said if they don't give him the contract he wants, he's coming to Philly. Oh no. Basketball or football? Basketball. Big name. Hmm. Huh. Big name. That 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 got past me, Bishop. No, I saw you it. You know who I, it is, Pastor I, Nick? I, I, I saw it yesterday. And he's very, as soon as the name is mentioned, you'll know it because he's not a he's not a, a new guy, new guy, but he's 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 still very very good. Huh. Um. But he said if they don't give him the contract he wants, he's coming to Philly. That's exactly what he said. Oh no. Hmm. Yeah, it got past me, Bishop. Yeah, I saw you got it. me wondering now. Yeah, I saw it. And okay. and and as soon as the name is mentioned, I'll know, you know I'll know that's the guy. But he's been around a while. Okay. He's a very good ball player. I don't, is it Kyle I, Lowry? No, not Kyle Lowry. Yeah, Sixers have him. Huh. African American guy. Um, really good ball player. I'm sorry, my he's escaping me right now. So, that's okay. I, 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 they got past me. I'm mad because I don't know. Like, I'm supposed yeah, to be his nine, yeah. and everybody called the sports guru. <laughs> <laughs> but I, yeah, I kid. That's that's. I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna have to listen out for that. All I have right, to man. Listen out for Good that. Good talking but, uh, to you, guys. See you soon. All right, now. Got my word. Bye bye. All right, right bye bye. Eight six six seven four three eight two six seven. We're going to Kevin from Cedarville, and then we're going to Tom from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Hi, Kevin. How are you this morning? Good morning. How are you? Doing Hi. great. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. How you? What's going on this morning? What's your What's your comment? I am going to try to summarize my elation and my excitement in a few minutes. Okay. So, okay. I am grateful for the teaching of the Holy Ghost, the Father, and the Son, how he broke it down. Okay. And I just want to share with the both of you that what you teach is really helping families, and I am grateful for that. Uh, good thing. And um, I had a conversation with my son. Mm-hmm. I told him, I remember when we were children, I'm one of three girls and a brother. Mm-hmm. My parents had um, bank accounts for us. In hard times, they had to spend the money. Mm-hmm. I raised my children. I had accounts for them. Hard times, I spent their money. Mm-hmm. So I gave my son a challenge. I said, we need, I, I have a desire to build wealth for my grandson, who's five months old. You guys know I have a new grandson. Yeah. And I said, do you have anything I can, we can build a bank with? They didn't. So I took, while I was there in Ohio, I took a can, an old formula can, mm-hmm. poked a hole in it, and took baby wrapping paper and put paper around it. Mm-hmm. And I said, I'm going to ask my children, ask the girlfriend's parents to go, go on board with me with this. I'm, I'm so excited. I could cry because I, I love what you guys teach about um, wealth. And so I said, every time we show up, even when we think about it, we're going to save it before we get there. We're going to, every time we visit him, we're going to put that money in the can because we need to build, build wealth for this baby. Sure. He needs to know that he doesn't have to worry about um, wanting or needing anything. We can start now. I, I, want to, I, want to be a part, I want to walk the scripture. I don't want to talk about the scripture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
And so my, my son, I'm so excited. He said, and he went a little further. He said, Mom, I'm going to put the can at the door. So when you guys come in, we can put that money in it. Okay. And so Deuteronomy 8.18 it yep. starts out by saying, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. That's the first thing we got to mm-hmm. remember him. Yeah. And he said, it is he that giveth power to get well. Mm-hmm. So I'm so excited about, because see, what you guys teach, it doesn't just stop at me. It's healing families. Sure. And I have been, I, recently, Bishop and Pastor Nick, I have been the recipient of, he will open up the windows of heaven. Every time I turn around, somebody's giving me and doing something for me. Mm-hmm. The recent challenge for me, though, has been, every time I hear you say, I'm going to start at 100. I know some, some people, y'all going to help me at 100. <laughs> I'm like, uh-uh. So I challenged myself. I gave $100. Mm-hmm. And, I, and whoever is listening to me, I want you to hear. Like pastors, like you guys say, it's not, I'm not trying to exalt myself. Mm-hmm. But I want, I want everybody to know that this thing is real. Oh, yeah. I gave $100, and it's coming back to me already. Wow. And so we can name it. It's so real. Um, so, I mean, I, I get stuff done on my car, and I don't have to pay. I'm, talk, I'm talking about real stuff. The blessings in so a variety I, of ways. I, I'm sorry. What was that, Bishop? I said blessings in a variety of ways. Yes. Yeah. So I just thank the both of you that, again, it's so important that we know it is not a singular thing. It's not just going to no. bless us. It is going to bless our children mm-hmm. and our children's children. And so I'm sorry. I can't wait to get to that door and just put that money in that can for this baby. Well, we know wealth is generational, but it has to start with us. Yep. You yes. know, we may be the doorway. We may be the starting point for future generations to have a different kind of life. Some struggles, but not the exact same kind of struggles we had. I think anybody that wants their children to go through the very same, like I wouldn't want my kids to have to live in the projects like I did and have government yeah. food. But I do have to make sure they understand that this stuff is not growing on trees Mm -hmm. and you got to work hard to get it and you have to take care of it once you have it. You know, it's not uh, some open spigot. And and it's the same thing with God. There's there's a responsibility that the scripture demands a response. The entire Bible demands a response. And because of that, uh, that's the work part of what we have to do. And and, um, it, it takes faith to do it. It and that, does. And that it faith positions sense. you to actually experience what the Word of God has promised you. And, and some, a lot of people don't believe that today, and it's unfortunate. Yeah. But the change, our change of mind, does not change God. Yes. If yes. I lose faith, it doesn't mean God is not faithful. That's right. All right. So anyway, Kev, you sound good. You going to run this no. week? You going to run this week? Look. No. Uh, you know what? Jeez, God. At, you know. Oh, let me say this before I let you go. That video testimony yeah. at the beginning of worship on Easter Sunday yeah. was powerful, lady. Yeah. Yep. Wow. It was powerful. Yeah. And I was proud of you. Yeah. And then for you to be here and they just, it was, uh, yeah. it was amazing. Yep. You know, I, I just, I love him so much and. And it is true. It's it's not some cliche. I love him because he did love me first. I know that's right. And and that's why. You know, I do want to add because this is a very important point. All right. To this be quick now. Be quick. Be quick. Yeah, yes. My son's challenge now is he cannot touch. So, so the money's going to be in his house. So now that generational thing he's got to break. His challenge, like unlike what we did, he cannot touch that money. Good. Even if he needs it for a second, he cannot Good. touch it. So that's Good. going to be his challenge. Good. So thank you so much, guys. Just keep doing what you're doing. We're listening. I understand. That Holy Ghost thing is going to be even better and better. You watch. Yeah. Thank you so talk much. To you, talk to you soon. You. Bye-bye. All right. All right. 866-743-826-7866-74. Evans, give us a call. What's Paul that? George. Paul George. There you go. Yeah, Paul George. Yeah. yeah. If he can stay healthy, yeah. he'll be. Yeah. yeah. He'll There's help. Some experience. Yeah. 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 And along with MB. Yep. Yeah. That would be good. Uh, that in the paint thing will change. Yeah. Yep. You got That'd time from Fort Lauderdale. Tom, are you there? Good morning, Bishop. How hey, you doing, man. Pastor Nick? Hey, Tom. How are you? Pretty good. Bishop, I think I heard you say something about Jill Scott Harry. Yes, we went, yeah. we went to school together. Yeah. Hey, people don't remember that, man. South Carolina to South Africa in the bottle. That was, we went to school together. Me. We matriculated at Lincoln at the same time. Wow, he has songs that hit the heart. It w- w- funny thing, not funny for him at the time, but funny thing. We used to have these great talent shows of Lincoln talent every year. Mm. 
and um, <laughs> and I mean they were top flight mm. talent shows, and we had people like Valeria Foster, which a lot of people don't know her name. I mean, they were she was singing like Mariah Carey and before Mariah Carey and were ever born. Okay, had wow. one of the many repertoire voices mm. okay. in school with us. You know, mm. just Brian Jackson who played for mm. Gil for a while, and anyway, mm. so Gil the first two years. I believe, I remember correctly, it's been a long time, he was in the talent show, mm. and he didn't win. Okay. And his label told him, can't do that. <laughs> 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 no, you, you, no you, 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 he was the professional on the campus and couldn't win the talent show. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Mess with your rep. <laughs> Doc, he said, Doc, his label called said, no. Gil can't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just stay, stay, wow. stay, stay off that stage, man. That Lincoln stage yeah. was something, man. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, the era was different. Yeah. Our homecomings, no exaggeration. Earth went in fire one year. Mm -hmm. Stevie won another year. Mm -hmm. New birth, another year. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. Those were the good old days. Oh, oh man. man. You can do that stuff here. Yeah. We got yeah, to hear Hearts right. of Fire, yeah. Blood Desire. Man, it was crazy, man. Yeah, I had a question for you. Go ahead. Uh, what do you think about this Monday with our ex-president? Monday? Yeah. Oh, his, court, court, his okay. trial. Okay. Good. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, Mike, I'm, glad him, I'm glad to see him going to court. No, uh, Chris? Nobody's supposed to be above the law. I'm glad to see him going to court. Yeah. And then his other guy went to jail. Which one? The the treasurer went uh, to jail this months. week for five months. Yeah. What yeah. what what has Trump promised him that he'll give five months of, of his life? Yeah. But he went to jail for perjury. Okay. So now there's yeah. no one to oppose his testimony. Right, because he was he lies. Yeah. And uh, Michael Cohen, the, the, the fixer, is screaming bloody murder. He's, he's going to tell everything. Well, he actually said, I, I think yesterday. There's a lot more to come than you already know. Well, I, and the other thing is this. Um, I don't know if uh, the treasurer, mm -hmm. I don't know what the two of them have on one another mm -hmm. because he may be the only one that Trump has not disengaged himself from. Okay. But he knows the dad's business mm -hmm. all the way through to yeah. the President Trump business. So. Uh, if anybody knows where all the bodies are buried this and where guy. all the skeletons are, this guy does. But he, he's an older guy and he's willing to go back to jail for yeah, it's five the or six time. months. Yeah. Yeah. Five or six months, he's willing to go back to jail. I wonder what kind of jail he's going to. Well, I'm sure he ain't going to Rikers. Well, it may not be oh, Rikers. Guaranteed. It may not be Rikers, but. And it may be, you know. No, he's actually going to Rikers. Is he going to Rikers? Yeah. They trying to get him to flip. Oh, he is, yeah. So that Rikers is no joke, man. Ten, two minutes in Rikers is too right, much. Right, right, right. Yeah, if he's going to Rikers, that's that, that's no fun. They Rikers is, was supposedly worse than Graterford used to be. Mm -hmm. And when I went to Graterford to minister, I, you know, I was like, how can anybody ever want to come back to this place? Okay. It was, it's. They had different wings, mm -hmm. and depending on the wing you were in, that's how loud the screams were. Okay. I mean, the, the 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 G wing or whatever it was, man, it sounded like a zoo, man. Really? Oh, it was. Even, it was yeah, amazing. Scared, yeah, but the show Scared Street came out of. Uh, man, I I've, I've been in, I've been I preached at some jails, mm. and I don't know why anybody want to go there for more than a visit. Yeah, right. And I'm not talking yeah. about staying overnight. I'm talking about mm. I'm going to see so and so half an hour. See you later. Mm. Mm -mm. That first lockdown I was in? No, no, oh, no. Like oh, no, <laughs> brother, 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 brother. <laughs> <laughs> they tell you lay down on the ground because here comes the truck around the rim, mm -hmm. and they shooting anything that's walking. Oh, yeah, God, no no no, 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 no. I'm good. No, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. No, no. I started, wanting, you know, Lord, I'm not sure. I, I hear you telling me to come back here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not feeling the unction on this thing. Right. Mm. Anyway, so anyway, Tom, what's happening, man? What's, what's Florida doing, man? I'm going to leave you with this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, governor's quiet this week. What? <laughs> uh, don't worry. He's going to come with something soon. But, but I'll tell you what's, what's 
down here in Florida starting, I, I noticed this past week, Rick Scott, the senator here. Oh, no. Uh, he's starting on his uh, campaign. Oh, is he? And he's headed right, uh, he's already hitting Miami. Hmm. Oh, I, I saw the bishop. I, I've got to bring, bring this up. I, I'm trying to think what congressman down here just said this week. She's upset at the Democratic Party mm -hmm. for letting Florida go because it could be one if people put the money down here and came in. And it's, you know, because it's tearling, but it, you know, it's going uh, right for the last sure. election. Yeah, it has. But, but if they just, nobody's coming here. I'm telling you, I, I sit here and see ads and ads and ads. For Republicans, mm -hmm. and it seems like uh, Democrats gave up on Florida. I think I think it's a mistake, and I, you know, I'm, I had the um, privilege of having this conversation with two well-known politicians, Democrats, uh, Corzine, but Governor Corzine when he was governor of New Jersey, and Mrs. Clinton when she was running for president before she was, you know, when she was campaigning. And I asked the question. I said, Why are you guys not? spending time in New Jersey. What, what's up with that? You call it a battleground state, but um, why aren't you spending time here? You know, and they kind of just thought they were going to get just get New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, how can you be so confident when a Republican governor has been, now is working his second term? How can you say this? And no one had an answer for me. Because it, logically it didn't make any sense. So you, they kind of just gave it away or didn't think they needed it, but that's not true. Uh, and during that change, time frame you're talking about, that's when Corzine, I think, lo lost to Christie. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And I told him, I, told him, I said, you guys got a problem out here because no one would say anything at the meeting. We're all in Trenton at this meeting, a bunch of preachers, and everybody's sitting there, oh, yeah, tell them what they want. I said, wait. And, and Corzine said, yes, Bishop. I said, they're not telling you the truth, man. And, of course, that was me throwing his staff under the bus. Yeah. I wasn't trying to. I said, but they're not telling the truth. The reality is you're not winning out here. Mm. And they just decided to ignore what I said. And then when I talked to him after the election, hey, basically we had a I tried to tell you conversation because they had him thinking he was winning. Yeah. But out here in the yeah. field, man, we knew there was a problem. Yeah, for look, governor, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they ain't, yeah. But that's how it goes, man. They get insulated. Hey, Pastor Nick, mm -hmm. take care. Bishop. You too, man. Care, man. Talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye. 866 743 The world-famous Danny yeah. from Lauder Hill, Florida, is on line one once again. The sage wisdom <laughs> of Danny from Florida, the, the, mm. the ultimate wisdom, the ultimate insight of Daniel. We're going to be sharing with him in just a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Before we go to Danny, so... Arizona Supreme Court rules the state must enforce their pre-Civil War abortion ban. This is a political question. Mm. Would somebody please tell me what the Republicans are thinking about? You see they're flip-flopping on the, the, the abortion thing. They're kind of, uh, uh, you heard Trump. Uh, what's the girl, the lady from Ho Hobbs or whatever her name yeah, is? Yeah, all they're going to do is keep playing, playing the commercials, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, just this week you were talking about, I did it, I did it, I did it, mm -hmm. I did it, I did it. And now, uh, I let the states handle it. Yep. It's not going to work, man. Yeah. And then her, whatever, whatever her name Corey, is. Corey, Carrie Lake. Yeah, Lake, Lake, Lake yeah. The Lake was girl. supportive of this. Then it's like, well, this is too harsh. Let's go, you know. Here's my, now this may yeah. sound, uh, correct me, please. Mm -hmm. If you're not in favor of abortion, mm -hmm. which they said they were, but you're okay with it up to six weeks. Mm -hmm. So if my whole premise is <laughs> life begins at conception. Mm -hmm. Why is it suddenly okay at six weeks? Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. that's how you, it's important to you. Now I'm just talking politically now. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. So, to get folk to vote for me, mm -hmm. life at conception has been moved to six weeks. It's black, it's black and white. It's no longer black and white. 
they'll present black and white to one crowd and then be open. I don't really believe they believe what they're saying. I think it's all political. It I don't because here's my point. Do you just care about a baby in the womb mm. and not care how the baby lives once it's born? Mm -hmm. It's contradictory. It is. It's an it, it's an illegitimate point of view. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, I we, we need to protect life, but then we can gun it down in the street. Yeah. No, no. No, something's wrong with that. It, so the conception life begins, but once the child is here, yeah. we're not nearly that concerned about yeah. it sustaining life. Mm -hmm. I, I think there's a problem. Yeah, that's why I, I, just, call, I just call them pro-birth. And even with that, it's not, <laughs> yeah. you're not pro-life. You're pro birth. Pro birth. You're pro-birth, that's what you really are. <laughs> that's what you really are. Now, I, I was reading something, yeah. and I wanna, I'm gonna verify, uh, but it was in a couple of articles okay. that this Arizona bill, mm -hmm. during the pre-Civil War time, midwives and a couple other people were doing the abortions, like with herbs right, and all that stuff right, like that. Right. The male doctors were felt some type of way because all the business were going to the women. <laughs> so, so they outlawed it. They outlawed abortion. <laughs> so Money. The doc so the doctors could be the only one to perform anything and completely annihilate it one, all for power, money, like, which they don't really care about this stuff. Like you said, it's politics. It's power, money, influence. Lord have mercy. <laughs> the, that was the original NRA. Yeah. The New Reproductive Association. Yeah, they just. Yeah. Unbelievable. I, I, I still, I still, like I said, politics, I really believe, they, some of them don't believe half the stuff they're saying. It's, they're just they, saying they're it. They're just saying it. And the bottom line is, the way they're going to form the new laws, they're going to change the name of the procedure. Yeah and people with money will be able to get it done. Yep, absolutely. Yep. But how do you tell a woman who's been brutally raped, mm -hmm. you got to carry this baby because I tell you to. Yep. And I'm pro-life all day long. Mm -hmm. But if I'm a woman, how are you gonna tell me what to do yeah. with what was planted inside of me and I don't want it? Right, yep. And I, I, I'm, mm -hmm. I know this sounds crazy, I'm pro-life all day long. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to believe what I believe. Absolutely. I totally agree with that. Okay. The problem is until it's their child. And then when it's their then child, it's then all of a sudden it's different. It's Well, we've watched this happen in, in I'll use me because I don't want you to get this on you. Um, in the context of my contemporaries yeah. who were anti-gay, mm -hmm. anti-abortion, mm -hmm. until one of their children came out yep. gay until one of their children got, got uh, pregnant mm -hmm. ahead of time. Then all of a sudden, liberality stepped in. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think that's appropriate. Yeah, yeah. Now, you could, the nuances. Come on. Yeah. People have a lot to say mm -hmm. about welfare until they need it. Yeah, absolutely, yep. Yep. And, and that, that's what gets me, is it, it shouldn't take something bad to happen to you. Mm -hmm which often is the, the it, case, to get you to start being considerate of other people. It lands on your porch, all of a sudden it's a real issue. Yeah, but if it's everybody else's. Nah, you don't, have, you don't need that. Yeah. I remember years ago, Obamacare came out mm. and uh, we had a guy call and he was like just gunning down Obamacare, mm. just gunning it down. And I, you know, I bless God for this guy. A Couple months later, he called back. He said, I had to call back. He said, I lost my job. Uh, we were in trouble. He said, the only way my wife got sick or he got sick mm. or both. Mm. He said, the only way we made it was Obamacare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, said, he said, when I called before, I was opposed to it. Mm. He said, but then I needed it. Yeah. And it, he said, literally saved my family. Yeah. yeah. But Why does it have to happen to you yeah. for, it, for you to see the need for other people? Mm -hmm. Yep. Look, all those, those states, like I'm against Obamacare, blah, blah, blah. Obamacare is the reason why we got urgent cares all over the place, mm -hmm. and especially those places like for us, we're fortunate to have like what five, six hospitals within yeah, like a twenty yeah, mile radius. Yeah, yeah. Down in them country, your hospital is seven miles away. Seven. Twenty. Look, you got urgent cares closer because look, of that. we have a church in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. The ride to the hospital is thirty minutes. Yeah. In an ambulance. Now, you know, they, they kind of put the pedal to the yeah. 30 minutes but in an ambulance. But it's still 30 minutes to get to you. 30 and to get 30 to you, 30 to get you back. Mm -hmm. 
But if you get seriously wounded, you in trouble. But Obamacare put all those urgent cares. Yes, sir. All around the place. Yes, sir. So at least you can get some. So the difference is still real because in strong Arkansas, last I talked to Loretta, mm. you, the, the, the closest hospital mm. is like a half an hour ride. Mm. The closest real medical center yeah. is two hours two away. Hours. Mm -hmm. What are you supposed to do? Yeah. You're right. Can't go out back and make a poultice for that. Right, no. You know, Look, come my, on, man. Where my grandparents <laughs> live, I, I asked my aunt, I said, so, so if things catch on fire out here, the nearest fire department is all, like mm -hmm. down there. Mm -hmm. She's like, well, you better get a hose. Cause like, you, <laughs> she's, she's like I'm like, cause if something happened out here, it's you gonna take them a minute to get to you. Volunteer fire brigade. You better and you get, have you better to figure out it. something. Better join it. Better have some cans <laughs> of water out back wait. I was like, shoot. My great grandmother had a bin Mm. Had a had a um, a barrel this big mm. with nothing but water. She collected rainwater all okay. the time. Yeah, and used it for a variety right. of things. Back then, you could. You could. Yeah, I forgot the outlaw. Yeah, she used to wash her hair with it and yeah. um, different kind of things. Feed the chickens with mm. you know water the chickens that kind of yeah. thing, but um, kept it. Mm -hmm. And the barrel stayed full because it rains every day in Florida. Yeah, but her hair was luxurious. Mm. But then, you know, all you put so much in. stuff in the air, yeah, man. It's, it's coming. I'd be scared. I'd be scared. <laughs> We used to go outside and drink the rainwater. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day. Back there and play, yeah. Not now, you better not. No. You got boiled it to the give you a toxic tonsillectomy. That's what it'll do for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go talk to Danny. Hello, Danny. How are you Danny. this morning? Bishop, good morning. How are you doing? Man. Hey, What's yeah. up? How's everyone today? If we had your hand, we'd throw ours in, brother. No, Bishop. I just wanted I just wanted to go ahead and uh, piggyback off a previous caller okay. that was talking to you and how much you have helped the family, the entire family. And, I mean, you started off with uh, years ago telling men how you're supposed to act, how mm. you're supposed to perform and lead the family. Mm -hmm. Then the support of our wives and our, how our children are supposed to act. Mm -hmm. And... I just have to thank you for that. And then about prayer, how to get a prayer through yeah. and how to uh, pray for yourself, for your family, mm -hmm. not depending on someone else to go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. And I thank you so much. And it has been proven time and time again, blessings and blessings that the windows have opened up and the sacrifices that we have made during the Easter season and what have you. Mm -hmm. I can see daily things happening and things that are Absolutely. the family, my family, uh, in particular, which I can speak of, and how each and every family have been protected from dangers seen and unseen. Mm -hmm. And I mean that. And uh, it means so much when you have that happening. And then you can see the work of God and the things that he's doing. And I just want to encourage you all to keep up the good work, and it's really, really working. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. We appreciate that. Yeah. Um, we're just working hard, man, trying to do it right. And... Uh, we're not always achieving what we want to achieve, but we sure do press, man. Yeah. What's that motto we say? We always striving for excellence. So if we do trip, we only we only fall to yeah. very good. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we, we don't fall. We won't start at good. Mm -hmm. Fall to poor. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> yeah. Got to yep. reach for excellence, man. Mm -hmm. then, then but we you see how you work day. together, and yeah. that means a whole lot. Because oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you you don't have that in churches where. Someone will go ahead and share the pulpit and share knowledge and listen to the young people and what have you. But we have young and old, mm -hmm. and I thank you for that. And yeah. it's, you go back to things that, that were wrong, that we left out, like uh, the, the, the prayer services, mm -hmm. the first Sunday service. And thanks. Thank how, did you for we, all that. how did we lose all that? How did the, how did the modern church lose all of that? Convenience. Is Try that to make everything is? convenient. They can't do that, yeah. man. God, and, and they, they have, God has not churches, changed. Mm -hmm. God has not some changed. Churches are, some churches on first Sunday, they actually have it where you literally, after they give the benediction, they rush people out to get communion so that the next crowd could get in. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know you tell the truth. And some people actually, you know, some people, they don't actually have communion. And they give it to them as a leave. Mm-hmm. Literally, here, take it, and you go mm -hmm. have it in your car, have it at the house, whatever. It is. Come on, man. We made everything less communal. 
individual, get what you want, go home. Then we need business. to stop singing What a Fellowship. I know. I know. Yes. <laughs> we, we, I know. We, we need to stop singing that. Just take that song out the book. Mm -hmm. I know. And, and then you, this thing you is think about assembling you. together. Yep. God has not changed. He still says, don't stop assembling yourself mm -hmm. together. Don't stop coming to worship together. Yep. The, all this individuality, it works in a lot of things. But in the kingdom, it means something totally different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my thing is like, you have 168 hours in a week. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me you can't give God coming together two hours, three hours? You have 168 hours mm -hmm. a week? Mm -hmm. I'm like, do the math. Mm -mm. Nope. Like, nope. you have 165 hours left over it in a makes, week. You're making too much sense, Pastor I know. Nate. I know, I'm sorry. Just, no, you're not supposed to make sense. You're not, yeah. that, that, that's, that's, I, it, it's, but, we want a full-time God. Mm. They don't want to even give him part-time worship. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I don't know what we expect him to do. What more does he, I, what more right. does he have to do? I know. Yeah. Who's, uh, you're at, wait, wait, Morgan's chicken. Morgan, that's what I feel like. That's yeah, what man, my, yeah, yeah, you, come do on, the man. math. Like, come it, on, man. All this. Come on. All he wants is this. Come on. It's, <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't get us started, Dan. It's your fault, Dan. <laughs> I know. But but thank you all very much. You 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 really getting the job done. Thank you again. Thank you. How how my sister doing? Blessed and highly favored. <laughs> Blessed and highly favored. Uh, <laughs> tell us said hello. We'll do. We'll do. All right. Bless bye bye. Bless you. All right. So OJ died. Yeah. I see people are reassessing, now that he's gone, they're reassessing his guilt. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a brief clip with D.L. Hughley, mm -hmm. and he's, he said he's ashamed of the fact as to why he supported O.J.'s innocence. Mm -hmm. But he had matured since that time. And, um, you know, he now believed that he was guilty. I, I believe he had something to do with it. I don't know if he was by himself. Okay. But he, he was in it some way, shape, or form. Okay. Um, you know, some say, some people say it was a son, him did it. We don't know. You know, we probably never know the true story. I, 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 um, I was a fan of OJ's when he was at USC, I believe. Mm -hmm. Track mm -hmm. and football. One of the things that they don't talk about much they talk about O.J. speed. Mm -hmm. They do not talk about Simpson's strength. Yeah, he's strong. He was an extraordinarily powerful individual. Mm -hmm. So when they said that whole, you know, the way the, the uh, supposed murder happened, mm -hmm. um, I was not for a moment mm -hmm. thinking that he could not take out two individuals, oh, yeah, especially one of those. Yeah, yeah he, oh, yeah. he was an in incredibly strong yeah. individual. And all you had to do was watch a couple tapes. Mm -hmm. Him in the college and in and in and in the pros, mm. and see the kind of um, physical force he was, yes. with those guys weighing fifty more, sixty mm. more, seventy more pounds than him, hitting him, him just boom, yeah. boom, boom, yeah. you know. So he, he was a very strong individual, mm. um, and I'm not sure if you know when I looked at him during the trial, I didn't think he was very balanced in his head, oh, no. but also I didn't find out until later on that the police had been to the house countless, yeah, countless times, times. Yep, for his abuse. domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Just, I'm like, okay, you, you, you're shrugging off guys at 280, mm -hmm. and you got to whoop on this woman? Yeah, yep. And then in the, in the court case, they had him mm -hmm. until they told him to put that glove on. And Johnny Cochran was smart. Uh, when he told OJ to stop taking his blood pressure medication mm -hmm. so his fingers could swell mm -hmm. up, <laughs> so, which tells you that if he was on his blood pressure medication, he'd that glove would have. He'd he'd have but they told the black prosecutor, don't ask him to put the glove on. They kept, but he just had to do it, and that completely tanked their whole thing. Well, the defense attorney's job is to do their absolute best to get you off. Yep. And... Cochran mm -hmm. did a masterful job. But a lot of defense attorneys, unless they have an uh, ethic mm -hmm. standard, do get guilty people off. Oh. That's their job. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Some people will say, well, no, you did that. I'm not taking that case. I can't take it. But yeah. some guys are like, all right, pay me, and we'll yeah. see if the law works out for we'll, you. We'll work it out. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's a complex – I remember I was in, I remember I was in school mm-hmm. when the guilty verdict the not not guilty verdict yeah came. I was in math class okay seventh or eighth grade okay. and one of the kids ran in OJ's not OJ's not guilty all the black people ah, you know and it, just, <laughs> it was a very polarizing time oh it was terrible it was polarizing because I saw the signs and everything I'm like yeah. it looks like the I mean if anyone else. Mm-hmm. Had blood on the carpet, yep. blood in the car. Yep. Da, 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 da. Anybody else would have been guilty, mm-hmm. but he was OJ. He was OJ, yeah. The first African American athlete mm-hmm. to have a major commercial for an international company mm-hmm. was it Hertz or Avis? Avis. Yeah. He's running through airports. Mm-hmm. Yep. They did. Yeah. Black athletes didn't have yeah. anything. And he disowned us oh, to yeah. be around them until he got in trouble. Until he got in trouble, then, then he started going to black church all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. But we're gonna get. We're not gonna get him. <laughs> All right, so, 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 so tomorrow we would love for you to join us. We're, we're in a dynamic series yes. called, um, what is it called? Uh, what is it? Something new. Uh, Ultimate, event, you. Ultimate You. Yeah. Ultimate You. I'm about to say Avenger. It's our series on the Holy Spirit. You don't want to miss it. A um, lot of teaching, a lot of new understanding, but all that so your faith can be built, understand the relationship between you and God and how the Holy Spirit connects you. Just, you just want to be there. So we want to see you tomorrow. We have two services, of course. Our 8 a.m. service is our virtual service. Our 11 a.m. service is our live service. You don't want to, you, you don't want to just watch us on TV because you can't get everything on your screen that you can get when you're here with us live. So take the inconvenience yourself. Come to church. Be with us tomorrow at 11. Learn about the ultimate you, your connection to God by way of the Holy Ghost. It's just, it's just an amazing time. Uh, we're, not, we're not requiring vaccinations. You can come. Masks are optional. So if you want to wear your mask, you're fine. If you don't want to wear it, you're fine. Nobody's going to ask you, why are you still wearing that? You stay out of people's business. Right. We do what we do. Yep. All right? Bible study during the week, noontime. You've got a great crowd, man. Oh, yeah. Noon and 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. Um, if you're interested in any kind of news updates from us, you can, you can text BBC News to 28950. Inspirational messages, BBC Elevate to 28950. Of course, we love praying with you, as we always say. Mail your prayer request to social at gotobethany.com. Social at gotobethany.com. Subscribe to David G. Evans 1 and BBC of NJ on YouTube. Also subscribe to our DGEMS and On Point podcast platforms. So Pastor Nicholas Smith. I'm Bishop Dave G. Evans. I want you to remember faith acts like a thing is so, even when it's not so, that it might be so. God bless you. See you next time on On Point.